To access all of the security and privacy settings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left side of the screen and I'm going to click on more. And you should be able to do this on a mobile device as well. You just have to get to the Twitter menu where you have all of these different options. And we're going to go right to settings and privacy. And here we have quite a few different options. So I'm going to go through all of the ones that I think may be important to you. So under the your account section right here, uh, we have just a few things. This is where we can change our password, where we could deactivate our account. Uh, and then we can also see account information like the phone number and email address that's associated with our account. And you'll have to enter your Twitter password to take a look at that information. But down the list here, uh, in the monetization section, there isn't too much for you there. Um, that's if you're monetizing on Twitter. Uh, Twitter Blue, you don't have to worry about that. Security and account access, there are a few things in here. So in the security section, this is where we can enable two-factor authentication. So if you're worried about somebody hacking your account, it's a good idea to enable that or to also take a look at this additional password protection. Uh, and then if we go back here in security, um, this is where we can see uh, who's been logged into our account. So we could go to this apps and sessions section and we can see all of the connected apps. So those are third-party apps that we've connected to Twitter. So you could go in there and you could unconnect the ones that you're not using. Sessions is where you can see all of the times that you've logged into your Twitter account. So if you think somebody's accessing it uh, and they're not supposed to be, you could check in here uh, and take a look at that. And that's the same uh, type of idea here in account access history and then logged in devices and apps. So you have a lot of security options in terms of seeing where your Twitter account has been logged in from. Let's go back here now. Um, you can also see uh, any connected accounts. So these are actually accounts that you use to log into Twitter. So it's a Google or Apple account. So that's where you can take a look at that. Let's move down to the privacy and safety section. And here we have a lot of things. And um, the first thing is something that you may be looking for. This is where you can protect your tweets. And ironically, it's not in the your tweets section. And that might be what's confusing a lot of people. It's in this audience and tagging section. So if we click on audience and tagging, you'll notice that we have this checkbox that allows us to protect our tweets. And Twitter is unlike a lot of other social platforms where there isn't really this option to show some tweets to only your followers. You have to pick, do you wanna show your tweets to everybody or not? And so this is where you can uh, hit this checkbox to protect your tweets. And then photo tagging, this is if you want to allow other Twitter users to tag you in photos. So you may wanna turn that off as well. Let's go back here. Under your tweets, there actually isn't that much here for us. Uh, although you'd think there would be, but you'll notice that uh, this is just if we want to mark that the material that we are tweeting is sensitive, we can do that in here. And this is where we can also determine whether or not we want location information added to our tweets. So that's in the your tweets section. Let's go back. Uh, content you see, this is where you can enable and disable the sensitive content feature. So you'll notice that it is uh, enabled so that on this account, I can see sensitive content, but you could disable it in here if you wanted to. And then you could also go into the topics and interests. And this is where you can uh, select topics to follow and interests to follow so that you get tweets that are customized to you on Twitter. Uh, so that's where you can change those settings. Notice that in here you have the mute and block section. So this is where you can mute other people on Twitter. Uh, you can block accounts so you don't see their tweets either. They don't see yours. Muted accounts, will you won't see their tweets, uh, but they can see yours. Uh, you can have muted words uh, here on Twitter. So you have a lot of different options. Going back out, we can determine here in the direct messages section who can message us directly. So we can hit the checkbox to allow everybody to message us, um, or we can keep that unchecked uh, so that only people that we follow will be able to message us. Uh, Twitter has an automatic filter here to try and filter out spam messages. So you have that option as well and whether or not you want to show red receipts. So that's in the direct messages section. Scrolling down here, spaces has to do with the new uh, listening audio feature of Twitter uh, spaces. So there isn't too much in there right now. Uh, in terms of discoverability and contacts in here, you can determine whether or not you want to let people who have your email address and phone number find you. So if you don't want people who maybe know you in the real world finding you on Twitter, I would uncheck these two checkboxes right here. Uh, if you want to upload contacts to Twitter, you can do that here in the contacts section. Going back, you'll notice that if we scroll down, we have another section here. It's called the data sharing and personalization section. And there isn't so much related to actually privacy here. We've gone over most of those, but there are some things that you might wanna be aware of. Um, so add preferences. So you can go into this section and you can actually turn off or on personalized ads if you'd like. Uh, you can even choose interest to see certain types of ads if you'd like on Twitter. Some people love customized ads and some people hate them. So this is where you can modify that setting. That's in the ads preferences section. Inferred identity. Uh, this section basically allows you to 
uh, let Twitter determine whether or not if you haven't used a device in a long time, it will make you uh, maybe answer some security questions when you log in. So that you might want to keep that enabled. Uh, do you want to share your data with Twitter's business partners? So I would go in here and I would make sure this is disabled because you don't really need to do that probably. And then location information. So you can decide whether or not you want to let Twitter customize your experience based on places you've been. Uh, so you can go in here, you can enable or disable that, and you can also check out places you've been that Twitter has recorded. Uh, so that really covers most of the Twitter security and privacy settings. As I mentioned, the setting to protect your tweets is actually in the audience and tagging section, not the your tweets section. And the setting to enable and disable sensitive content is in the content you see section. So hopefully this will help you protect and feel a little bit better about your Twitter account. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.